So this example of a transformation, um, this time the transformation has been uh, undertaken and it's moved to triangle T1 to become T2. So our job is to describe the transformation. Well, it should be fairly clear that it is an enlargement because it's, it has got bigger. But um, we've got to say by what scale factor and by what centre. We'll get marks for both those things. So we will get a mark for saying it's an enlargement. We then will get another mark for saying it's a scale factor. Now that's fairly easy um, to work out. You simply check one of the side lengths. The base is 1. The base of the bigger triangle is 3. So it's a scale factor of 3. If you like, you can check the height is 2 and the height of the big triangle is 6. So 3 twos are 6. So everything looks fine there. Um, a bit of most people, if they do go wrong with, is the centre of enlargement. Our second driver is in a particular position because of the centre that's being used. To find that centre, you need to maybe mark your points A, B, C, and then mark the corresponding points A dash, B dash, and C dash. You don't have to do that, but it helps a bit. Then draw a line through A dash and A accurate as you can. And then draw a line through B dash and B. And that shows you that it's enlarged through the origin. If I go through C and C dash just to check there's nothing wrong then you'll see that all the lines pass through that same point zero zero and that is in this particular case the center of enlargement so we'll put center zero zero um, in most exam questions and textbook questions because there isn't a lot of room um, on a page they're going to use something around here but it's drawing those lines through that will help you find exactly uh, where the exact centre is. So one mark for enlargement, one mark for scale factor, and one mark for centre. Three marks altogether.